to my channel, Tally TV. It's your girl, Tally, and welcome to another video. As you saw in the description bar, this is the Q&A that we discussed in the last video. If you haven't watched that, go back and watch it. If you aren't following me on Instagram, do so. My Instagram name is gonna always be in the description bar. Also, I'll drop it right here for you. Go hit that follow on Instagram so that you can always be in the know. Saying that to say this Instagram poll was posted last week. Um, I asked people to ask some questions and I would um, answer them. Here are the questions here. Let me pull them up for you guys. If this is your first time here, hey boo, what it do? If it's not your first time here, I hope you have subscribed already. If not, hit that subscribe button. You can't miss it, it's that red bar. Hit that button so you can be a part of the team. As a team, we do what teams do. We love one another, we support one another, we have fun, we travel, we cook, we DIY. We have a special segment of Girl Chat coming. I'm not putting in this video because I wanna introduce it on its own because it's that special, okay? So make sure you're following on Instagram as well as YouTube here. Now, as I said, I asked a poll on Instagram and um, a Q&A. Just submit questions and I would do the answers here on YouTube. As I said in my last video, I got pretty good feedback and I'm here to answer those questions. Here are the questions here. And that's the very last one. That's actually from Facebook. So yeah, we've got a few questions. We're gonna go ahead and answer those. We're gonna dig right into it because I just got in the house and I need to cook dinner, okay? So the very, they're not in any you know special order. I'm just gonna go through them, okay? Um, the very first question, do you work for the airlines because you travel a lot? <laughs> if not, what is your nine to five? Um, I don't work for the airlines, but um, honestly speaking, I do have a plug, okay? I'll say that. Um, I have a slight plug. I, I did apply for the airlines, but I don't work for the airlines. I'm still keeping my fingers crossed on that um, application as well. The second part of your question, what is your nine to five? I work for the Department of Housing. That is my nine to five. I work for the Department of Housing to answer your second part of the question. Um, that's funny. Uh, let's see. Any advice for new marriages? Okay. Um, wow. That's tough because, I mean, well, my advice is my advice. But everyone, you know, views relationships and everything differently, you know. So, I would say the number one thing is communication. You have to be able to effectively communicate with your um, spouse. You know, if you can't effectively communicate, you're not gonna be able to get anywhere. And I say effectively meaning know your partner, know your spouse, know their triggers, um, because that that affects how you communicate. So effective communication is number one. You have to be able to um, speak your mind, speak your peace, but in an effective way. Um, so communication is number one, I would say that. That is number one. And number two, um, for new marriages, I would say just keep it new. And even not just new marriages, in marriages period, keep it new. Um, meaning do new things, you know, as small as having dinner other places at a home, you know, um, experiencing new things to eat with one another, um, different cultures, um, you know, having some alone time. If you have children, you need a kid-free night. And, you know, just have that alone time, you know, whether whatever it is, watching a movie, making a movie, okay? Um, again, it is so many different things you can do with one another um, as far as, like, intimate time because intimacy is different for everyone, you know? You can play some music. You can talk over candlelight. You can party with your music. You know, there are so many different things you can do. So you just need that alone time. Keep it new. Keep it fresh. Keep it interesting. So communication and keeping it new. And lastly, I would say prayer. Um, pray for your partner. Pray with each other. But in order to pray with each other, you have to be able to communicate. You know, your partner should be your comfort zone, right? You should be able to discuss any and everything but that's where communication comes in if you aren't comfortable speaking with your partner you're not going to be able to move forward and that's just real spiel that's my opinion right so i would say number one is communication number two is keeping it new keeping it fresh keeping it spicy and number three making sure you're keeping that union you're keeping that union tight i mean keeping your focus where it should be because that makes a difference in any relationship okay so yeah that is the answer to that question 
That's my advice anyway. Um, next, do you think you'll ever pursue a career in culinary? That's a good question because I do cook a lot. I do love to cook, but no, I don't see me pursuing a career in culinary only because that's stressful. Like I'm trying to work smarter, not harder. And then plus I love to cook, but not like for big parties, not for big events. I cook for my family. I cook for my friends. But when it comes to like catering, when it comes to, um, you know, big events, I don't think that's not my forte. Um, I love to cook. I love to experiment. I'm a self-taught cook. I learn as I go. I'm not a chef though, you know? So no, I don't think culinary is my forte, but I love to cook. So I can see why you asked that. Um, next question says kids. It just says kids with a question mark. So I'm assuming they want to know if I have children. Do I have plans to have children? The question is no. I do not have children currently. Um, do I plan to have children? Uh, that's not something I'm planning for. But, you know, if that blessing were to arise, it's not something that I would run from. However, uh, my husband and I, we live a full life. We travel a lot. We do enjoy being able to come and go as we please, at, especially at this age. I'm not saying my age, but um, it, it's very liberating to not have to have a schedule. But don't get me wrong, that is a huge blessing. So, so if it comes, you know, we'll see. Okay, next question. What is your least favorite thing to cook? Hmm. What is my least favorite thing to cook? It's gonna sound crazy because like again, I love to cook and this is something simple. I'm sorry, I'm stuffy, my allergies. Again, I just came home, I'm kinda stuffy. Anywho, um, my least favorite thing to cook will be fried chicken. Because um, I like my chicken crispy but moist and I had to learn how to get that, get there. So I, would, I had to learn that it's really about like the oil, the pan, the heat, thermometers, all that good stuff, girl. And then plus your house, we spend a lot of like fried chicken. I just, I don't know. That's my least favorite thing to cook. I love it, but it's my least favorite thing to cook to answer your question. Um, the next question, how did you meet your husband? <laughs> what well, actually says, how did you and your husband meet? Same thing. Okay. Well, I met my husband um, at a party, actually, a party that I did not plan to go to. Um, this was in 2006. At that time, my best friend and I lived in the same complex. I lived in the front, she lived in the back. And um, my best friend loves to cook just like me, can throw down just like me, hey girl. Anyway, so at this time, one of her neighbors who, you know, had become her friend at this point, um, was having a birthday party. She called me that morning, my best friend called me that morning and said, hey, so-and-so is having a birthday party for her son. You know, come up here, I'm cooking, I'm helping her cook. I'm gonna cook some spiced shrimp. I'm gonna cook my shrimp pasta and it's always good. She know I love her shrimp pasta. So she was telling me to come get some. So I said, okay, cool, um, I'll come get some, but you know, what time the party started? I'm gonna come before the party. No, come to the party. Why do I need to come to a party? At that time, I had only met one of her sons and he was about eight years old or so. So in my mind, I'm thinking it's for the eight year old. I'm like, why do I need to go to an eight year old party? And she said, bitch, it's not for him. She has an older son. So I said, oh, okay, I didn't know. Okay, cool, I'll come. Girl, I ain't never had no plans on going. Hung up with her. Later on that evening, again, had no plans on going. I took my shower, I cooked my dinner. I was in my house doing me. Anybody that knows me knows I am a home body. I enjoy going out, but home is just my space. That's that's just what I enjoy. So, um, saying that to say, she called me later on that evening. The party had been starting, girl. I didn't even answer the phone. I knew it was her. Looked at my phone. I was like, I'm not answering that. Girl, why 30 minutes later or so, I hear doom, doom, doom at the door like feds. It's her ass. I go to the door, all my lights are off. She come in flicking on lights. Cut these lights on, what are you doing? What are you doing, why are you not up? Come down here, get dressed. Why do I need to come down here? I'm comfortable in my own bed. Did you bring me a plate? She was like, no, come get your plate down here. She know I love her shrimp pasta. Yes, I had cooked dinner, but again, my best friend can cook just like me. I wanted some of her pasta and some spice shrimp. So I said, fuck it, I'll just throw some clothes on and um, I'll go down there with you. So she went in my um, bedroom, my mind, I already took my shower, went to freshen up and came back, threw some clothes on. I threw on a hoodie and some jeans. She was like, that's what you wearing? I was like, yeah, 
what she was like it's niggas down there oh well this is what i'm wearing a hoodie and some jeans okay i had no intention on trying to meet nobody it had been a year since i had last dated i was good i was chilling right girl threw the clothes on went down there with her i walk in i'm like oh it's people in here she was like i told you i'm like well whatever so my thing is to get my plate and you know come back home of course say my hello say all that stuff i'm not rude or nothing you know but i wasn't trying to stay so I went in, saw her friend whom, you know, was throwing a party for her son. And then that's when I was introduced to the birthday boy, whom is my husband's best friend. Okay. So at that time, I got my plate, introduced, introduced me to him, talking, hello, happy birthday, nice to meet you. My best friend and I sit on the couch. And as soon as I finished eating, I went to put my plate on the table. I look up and I see him. I'm like, who? Who is that? When I saw him, he saw me, okay? We saw each other, and about five minutes later, he came over, introduced himself. He excused himself for my best friend because, you know, it's tight. It's an apartment. It's like a little house gathering, or house party, whatever you want to call it. And he excused himself from her. I was like, you know, can I speak to you for a minute? Sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so uh, we're talking, and because we are in, like I said, it's a tight, confined space, he was like, you know, you mind if we, you know, go outside for a minute so we can talk outside? I'm like, sure. Shit. Let's, yes, yeah, let's go. So I'm getting up and as I get up, I hear this man say, damn, I look back and he was like, I'm so sorry. I, I didn't even realize I said that out loud. I just didn't realize you had all them hips. So I was like, oh, <laughs> he like it what he see. Oh, he like a bit. <laughs> so yeah. So anyway, we went out front and we talked and needless to say, we came back in. We talked for three hours on that couch, y'all. Three hours to the point his friends, my best friend was like, damn, y'all still talking? So we had a great connection. We've been inseparable ever since. So that's how we met at a party that I had no intention on going to. So my best friend tell him all the time that he she still owes him. I mean, he still owes her to this day a trip or something. So yeah, that's how I met my husband at a party I had no intention on going to. Okay, and that was 2006. So 20, 2022. Glad I went right. <laughs> all right, next question. How did you learn to cook? Um, well, I come from a family of cooks, I would say. My mother's side is Caribbean. My father's side is um, Southern. Um, so yeah, my mother's side, like I said, my grandmother, I grew up with my great grandmother my, and my grandmother watching both of them cook, like from scratch. I'm talking about helping break peas, pick tomatoes from the garden. So I've just always loved to cook. I'm the oldest of three. And um, like I said, I just, I just love to cook. It's just fun. I love to cook, so uh, let's see what else. How would you handle finding out your friend recorded a conversation without you knowing and played it for your boyfriend? I'm gonna read it again. How would you handle finding out your friend recorded a conversation without you knowing and played it for your boyfriend? I would like to see it. First of all, let me just say you worded this all wrong because that is not your friend. That is a violation of trust. That is a violation of your personal space. That's not a friend. For I, I, I need to know more. I wish you would have like went to the inbox. I should have said go to the inbox if you have more that won't fit in this box because I'm assuming that's why you stopped. But I need to know more. First of all, that's not your friend. Second of all, what was the conversation about? Not that it matters because I don't care if you told her the sky was purple and she told your boyfriend. That's not something that she should have done as your friend, okay? So what was it about? I'm, I'm assuming it was, was it about your boyfriend? Was it about another dude? What was it about? I need to know. Either way, what would I do? I'm not messing with this no more. Like, that's not my friend. That's not something that you do as a friend. That's that Again, that is a disloyal person. That is someone you cannot trust. And quite frankly, no, we don't need people in our circle that are doing disloyal things like that. That is crazy. What were you looking to gain? Again, you know who you are that submitted this question. I need you to put more to it because I need to know what exactly was said in this conversation and furthermore how does she have your boyfriend's information to play it for him or share it with him or whatever the only way i can see that is if she was his sister like do they live in the same house like what what was t i need to know so yeah you know who you are please come back and let me know because to answer your question that's not your friend okay i would have x this out 
instantly, okay? Like, on all areas. You're not following me on social media. You're out of my phone log. You recorded a conversation. Like, who, who are you? No, we're not doing that. Okay, next question. I've heard you mention carb cycling. What is that? Um, carb cycling is basically what it is. It's just cycling your carbs. Um, it's a balance. If I eat carbs at lunch, I'm not going to eat them at dinner. If I eat them during the day, lunch and dinner, I'm not going to eat them the next day. If I have them a couple of days this week, the next week I'm not going to have them. You know, it's just a balance because for me, low carb is what works for me. Um, do what works for you. But if you are interested in low carb, then you can try carb cycling. Carb cycling because me, I am definitely not going to not have carbs. I just have to um, find a balance. And for me, that, that works. So that's what carb cycling is. What is one place you don't ever want to go to? No, what is one place you don't ever want to go and your dream place to travel to? Um, I always say I will go anywhere because I'm the type of person that can find like, like joy in pretty much anything. But I'm not interested in going anywhere that's abnormally cold or always cold. And I'm not interested in going anywhere that would be a threat to the American citizen getting back home. There are so many places, okay? Um, especially like right now with all this crazy stuff going on. Those are pretty much the only two areas I stay away from. Abnormally and always cold. And places that your girl might, it might be a threat for me to come back home, you know? No need to stay in the places. Uh, let's see. Um, what don't you know how to cook? LOL. Meals be looking bussin' bussin'. <laughs> well, thank you, first of all. Um, I wouldn't say it's something I don't know how to cook. If it is, I hadn't come across it yet. Uh, I hadn't, like, dug too deep into, like, crazy things. I think the most furthest thing that I've cooked from, abnorm from normal would be duck. Um, and that's easy to cook. Um, my husband eats duck. I don't. It's hella greasy, hella fatty. I don't like it. I'm a texture girl. I don't like it. Um, I'm willing to try anything though. So I, I cook. I'll try anything, basically. Cooking, not eating. Okay, let's see. Next question says, you travel a lot. Would you ever move out of your city? If so, where? <laughs> um... Well, I do travel a lot. I love to travel. I wish I could travel more, girl, okay? Listen, that is like my love language. I love traveling. Would you ever move out of your city? <laughs> I'm laughing because my husband and I had this conversation a lot. My husband is the type, he would move somewhere for a year, two, couple of years, and go on to the next. You know, he, is, he loves to explore. Um, me, on the other hand, I am super close to my family, and... Not saying I wouldn't, but not right now. And if I did, it would definitely have to be some place that were close, you know, some place that were close. So the second part of your question, uh, where would I move if I were to move? It would probably be Florida, just because number one, it's close to home, as I said, and number two, who doesn't love Florida? It's beautiful weather. I love all parts of Florida. I can get down <laughs> north, south. I love Florida. So it'll be Florida. Okay, and the very last question we have says, what would you say is your best quality as a woman? That's a great question. Um, I would say, first of all, I have many um, great qualities, right, that, ma that make me a woman. But I would say loyalty. Loyalty because loyalty goes a long way in, in relationships as well as your friendships relationships I've always been loyal I've always been that girl to be loyal to what I choose to settle down with why are you settling down if you're not going to be loyal to that person you know what I'm saying that's just wasting your time and that person's time listen have fun until you're ready to be loyal okay um and as far as friendships I've always been a loyal friend always you know of course as we get older we grow apart or you know just things don't pan out the way you think they will pan out um, but that doesn't change me. If I loved you as a friend before, and of course nothing detrimental has happened, if I loved you before, I'm going to always love you. That's just me. I'm going to always show love. Um, yeah, that's just how it goes. Like, it doesn't cost anything to show love. Loyalty takes you a long way. Loyalty will open doors for you, okay? So, yeah, it pays to be loyal. 
Um, so yeah, to answer your question, that is um, my best quality as a woman, loyalty. That concludes all of the questions that you guys have submitted on Instagram as well as Facebook. Um, but I did wanna give you guys a couple of fun facts about me before I end the video. Number one being, my ears are not pierced. I don't know how many women, grown women at that, you may know that don't have their ears pierced. If I take this off, look. Nope, no hole. I'm still wearing clip-ons, child. The funny thing is nobody in my family has their ears pierced, none of us. My mother, my grandmother, my sister, my niece is the only one that has her ears pierced. So, girl, long story, my mother didn't want me to do it. She wanted, well, she didn't want to do it for me. She wanted me to make my decision as a, as my, on my own. And growing up, I just got used to it, you know? So, whatever, that's a fun fact. Um, so, Ears are not pierced. I don't have any piercings leading into that. I have no tattoos whatsoever, but that's going to change soon because I do want one. Um, I already know what I want. Well, I want three, actually. I know what I want. Um, but yeah, no piercings, no tattoos. And the last thing I'm going to share with you guys, and I know you're going to clown me out in the, in the um, comments, is what it is. Everybody who already knows me knows about this. This is a special trick. Let me show you. You laugh, I'm gonna block you. So, you see this ear? I know how to move it. Who know how to move the ears? I'm waiting, who? You ready to see it? All right, listen. Okay, I think I've shared way too much. I've shared enough with you guys. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you thumbs up, hit that like button, drop a comment, make sure you subscribe, become a part of the team. Once again, we do what teams do. We love one another, we support one another, we have fun, we cook, we travel, we DIY. And again, a special segment is coming up, a girl chat, you don't wanna miss it. So make sure you all follow me on Instagram, it's always in the description bar. Once again, it's gonna be right here, Tally TV underscore. Make sure you hit that subscribe button for Tally TV here on YouTube. Become a part of the team. Until next time, guys. Bye.